Hello, everybody, and welcome to Sightline. Everything out of it is subject to change. Except for this guy, apparently. Yeah, he doesn't change much. Um, so, what is Sightline? Well, Sightline is described as an adventure puzzle game. I personally would describe it as Sit on it and Rotate Simulator 2014. And I will explain why later. Um, it was created by those people that I can't pronounce their names. I mean, I can pronounce Thomas and Julian, and that's about it. Um, you can check out those people there. I'll put the links in the description and all that fun crap. Um, and it was made for the IndieCade VR Jam, and it won third place, which is actually kind of cool. Um, that's pretty neat. And that warning down there, if you get stuck, look at the readme on how to solve the given puzzle. That bothered me when I first saw it. But I figured it's a puzzle game. It can't be that complex. I love puzzle games. Puzzle games are great. All right. And we have a simple level select um, and a 3D test to see, you know, as make sure your 3D is actually working. And for the record, the one on the left is closer. That, my friends, is what we call forced perspective. Mm. Anyway, so let us get started, and I believe uh, press spacebar or start to start. So let's start. Sparkly! A philosopher once asked, if a tree falls in a forest, and no one is around to hear it, does it make a sound? No. By dictionary definition, no. I believe it does not. If there's a table in the kitchen, and you look away from it, is it still there when you're not looking? And that's when I realized that they're talking about quantum physics. Look, a table. And look, the tree. Quantum physics tells us that the universe is volatile. Told you. Particles can come into existence and vanish back into nothingness as long as we can't observe this happening. Which is a very interesting concept. But if you're not looking, anything can happen here. Oh, see, look, magical chair. This is... There are laws. Laws of physics that bind reality and ensure that your observations are always consistent. When you look back, the table will still be there. This is what I mean by calling it the sit on it and rotate simulator. It's because throughout the majority of the game, you're going to be standing in one spot and doing this. Until the game progresses. It's kind of annoying. And extremely sickening. Oh, that's a first. I never saw the genie uh, lamp before. Whee. Table. Giant chair. Floating ball of pink. But what if something damaged these laws? If the laws were no longer in place at the moment you looked back. And here we go. Anything could be there. And now we can move. It wasn't that I wasn't moving. I wasn't walking around just because I didn't feel like it. Um, I couldn't move at the time. That control is disabled at the moment. Um, but yeah, this is the tree that fell over earlier. There's a reason it looks like this. But it's a quantum tree, because check it out. It's not there. It's there. It's not there. It's there. It's not there. It's there. I love those little glitches. <laughs> I mean, I know the glitch is intentional, kind of ish. But, yeah. So, here we go. This is the story of how these laws are broken. A story that I have yet to get to the start of. Though I would point out that this is a demo, the game itself is, I believe, in development still. It's on Steam Greenlight. 
Um, I'll put links to all this crap in the comments and all that fun stuff. I would put out an interesting little story the first time I played this. Oh, I never actually noticed the tree was, like, back straight up again. But, uh, one thing that... an interesting story. Um, I have this strange phobia of large moving machinery. Uh, when I first saw this thing, it freaked me out. It actually made me want to turn off the game. I'm not joking when I say that. I actually didn't want to continue playing it because of that thing right there. It's not bothering me now because, you know, I played this enough to see. And here we go. Into the... One moment, you might find yourself next to an unfallen tree. There's the unfallen tree. Ugh. This is the intentional the motion second, sickness thing. We're in a vast forest. Now we're in a vast forest. Yeah, I swear, these parts here, I know they're transitions, but I swear they're intentionally... or they're intentionally put in place to cause motion sickness. Or perhaps the word big would be more fitting here. I still have no idea what he just said there. There are a lot of birds. Remember to observe the world around you closely. Good. Look for anything that might help you proceed further. And that's the last bit of help you get in this game. No, not really. You do get helps written, scrawled on the wall. But, uh... Yeah. Oh, no, no. He does keep going now that I think about it. Check it out. I, see, I saw this thing the first time, and I thought it was the Minecraft lava block. You know, uh, when there's a glitch and you, you see the side of the block and everything? That's what it looks like, just not animated. I think it's supposed to be a gold block, but yeah. That's what it looks like to me. Oh. And I'm a black squiggly thing. Okay. I had to look up how to actually solve this puzzle. I saw a white pill falling, but that's the joy of quantum mechanics, or the lack thereof, um, is that the, uh, when you look back, things are different. <laughs> and it does screw with your head for a little while, until you get used to it. Like that. Though I love how there's physics in this game. I do. Wee! It's actually kind of hard to walk while this thing's still spinning. It's really interesting. That's interesting. I wonder if that's supposed to do that or if that was a glitch. I don't know. Whew. It's an interesting game with an interesting premise. Basically, you use the random state of the game. And sometimes, not looking, even for just a brief moment, might open up new possibilities. And then we twirl. Oh, no, that didn't do it. Come on, twirl. Damn it. All right, apparently not. Do I have to do something else? I thought that's all I had to do. Because if you're not there looking, it is. things can change. New paths might open, even if they're just wibbly wobbly ones. Yeah, wibbly wobbly pathways, quantum physics that things can change when you're not looking at them. Haven't played through the entire game yet, but if I see a weeping angel like ever in this game, I'm never playing it again. One advantage of these paths is that they can be re wibbled around as needed. Yeah. Now can you see why I feel sick playing this game? A lot. This is not a good game for motion sick people. I'll tell you that right now. Woo. But we have physics here. It's not terribly realistic, but it's physics. And then this one falls, and then we look away, and then we rotate some more, get that bridge to spin, and then lift up, and so on and so forth. 
a bit repetitive after a while. But I figured, you know what? I'll keep playing this game. I'll give it a chance. You know, I'll probably have to pause even while playing this or recording this video. There it goes. Um, figure, you know, I'll give it a chance. See what it's like. Ugh. And, uh, you know, just keep going, but... And then there's the sudden and dramatic music there. <laughs> I guess you're supposed to feel like you're about to fall off that bridge. Because that's exactly what I feel like. See? Physics changed while I was looking. They did. Bouncy, bouncy, bouncy. Standard, whoa, overzealous ugh, physics. We okay, here we go. So now we're at this place. I don't know what this place is. Thunk. And we look back, and then we look back, and it's spinning. And then they pull away when you need them the most. But then you turn back. I'm sorry, I'm distracted by the glitch in front of me. That That's hilarious. <laughs> the bridge never glitched out like that before. That, that's, that's great. Oh, everything's getting brighter. I guess I'm supposed to turn around. And look. I'm where I'm supposed to be. You already are where you were heading. Often yeah. in the face of danger, we can't help but look around and then we have a whole bunch of birds shitting explosions on me apparently I still have no idea what the hell's supposed to be going on but that's what it looks like it looks like the birds are trying to kill me um by shooting explosions at me I don't get it but sometimes the button your eyes can be the key to survive. and then there's this okay apparently I averted my eyes too late Let's try this again. But then you turn back. We. Ooh. And you already are where you were heading. I don't feel so good. Often in the face of danger, <laughs> you can't help but look around in order to find its source. There's slight glitching in the textures, but I mean, this was made in what three days? I think something like that. Pretty cool. But sometimes averting your eyes can be the key to ah, There we go. Let's try averting our eyes again. Okay, we averted our eyes. Nothing's happening. Alright, there we go. It's gotten darker, so I know it's progressing. The birds are still shooting things at me. See what I mean by calling this the sit on the and sit on and rotate. in front of your nose. Now this is normally where I would take a break and pause because I feel really motion sick and I'm not feeling good right now, I'll tell you this much. But I'm going to power through it and see what I can do. And I kind of know why I feel motion sick. It's because this game isn't... I don't want to say incompatible. Um... How do I describe it? It doesn't take full advantage of all of the DK2's features. If I go side to side, it kind of works. Forward and backwards kind of works, but it's not very fast. It's not fast enough. Um, and I think that little difference is making me nauseous. All right, so apparently our goal is over there. And if we go around, we can see the hint. 
Walls flip between two states, open, closed. They flip when you walk to the other side, you stand on the X mark and look away. Sometimes flipping between the two si states repeatedly can change other things. There it is. I want candy. I can't see a fuck all on that thing. All right, so this is where the door was, but it ain't there now. And now the door's over there. This is an entertaining game, of course. I mean, I understand the puzzles, and I understand it's a puzzle game. But if you find the right spot to observe your destination, you can gain better understanding of its volatile nature. Can I get it to do it? Come on. Can get it to do that? Oh, right, I have to do this. I forgot. Hang on. There's a trick I found, a neat little Easter egg that I found that I want to I want to show off because it's actually pretty cool. All right, I have to do this. All right, so now it went away, so now I don't turn around, and then I go through the door that showed up there, and I get to see it apologizing for it being wrong side. I noticed the picture. I didn't realize it was a TV that said release me. It's like subliminal messaging for Valve. <laughs> I never noticed that before. All right. This is one of the games where I question if I'm sane or not. Wee. Ooh. I swear this is getting worse. Finally reach it, things don't quite look as you expected at first glance. But if you return to give them several more glances. Ooh. Okay. I'm gonna be ending this here very, very, very soon because bah. Have you ever gotten so nauseous that you actually like start getting into a cold sweat? Um wait, hang on. Let's try it again. Better there it is. Before. All right, and then we rotate again so it, then it, it closes. All right, and then we go around again. This is a very, very repetitive game. I mean, I can understand if some people do like it. I don't. Ugh. Even the section of time is fleeting in here, much like in real life. Every time you look at a clock, you find that hours have passed, but it feels like a mere moment. <laughs> Look, tomorrow, 4 p.m. That's when this video is going to be released. All right, so it spoke of a clock. So all I have to do is... Uh... Are those supposed to be go gold coins or giant things of cheese? I don't know, but if I go over there, it doesn't work, so... Uh, this is what it's talking about, about the clock. If I look away from the clock and look back, it's a different time. And then I have to look between, what, three and six, I believe? It's after six. It's after seven. There, before six. And the music changed, too, so you know you got it right. And then I saw this. Now, remember what I said about the giant machinery that uh, freaks me the hell out? I saw that and went, nope, not gonna happen. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done playing this game. So, I'm gonna stay with the uh, cheese. And I'm gonna say, well, let's see if we can make it go away. Okay, we made the door go away. Do I get the cheese on the other side? Oh, I can't go anymore. Those pathways are closed to me. Alright, so what do I think of this game? I think it's a very interesting concept. Um, it's one of those artsy games that I don't really like. That piece of dust was like right in my face. Um, it's not... I don't want to say it's a bad puzzle game. It's one of those puzzle games that I really don't like. Uh, like Antichamber. I hated Antichamber. And the reason I hated Antichamber is because from what I could tell, the rules changed 
between every single room. So everything was different. You know, it, it was one of those puzzle games you had just had to memorize how to get through. And that was it. Whereas, say, like Portal and Portal 2 were amazing because Valve set down a very strict set of rules and basically a new set of physical laws and said this is how it is and that's how it was throughout the rest of the game after a point after you understood the laws well enough you could go into a brand new room look around it a little bit and know how to solve the puzzle you know you you could do it all in your head those are the kind of puzzles i really like this kind of game it, it just you know it changes every time you look so it's obviously going to be one of those games that every single room is just memorizing how to do the puzzle and yeah it's just those kind of puzzle games i don't like you may like it i don't know but you know what you know, check it out on Steam Greenlight. Uh, you don't have to have the Oculus to play the game. Though, when I was trying to play the game, uh, just without the Oculus, it failed miserably. Oh, hey, look, it's a soccer game. Or should I say, uh, no, I should say soccer. <laughs> but yes, um, what was I saying? There's, there's supposedly a version that you can just play. It plays on the screen and everything like that. However, it's got a problem with mouse binding. Uh, it doesn't bind the mouse to the window, so when you turn to look, your mouse goes off the screen. Now, you can play it with an Xbox 360 controller, which I would highly recommend you do if you try to play it this way. Uh, but, yeah. So, I'm going to cut off the episode here, and I'm probably not going to be picking up this game again. I know I'm actually pretty close to the end of the demo, but pff, I ain't playing it anymore from here. Sorry, large machinery. 3D virtual reality. I'm done. I know that's a limitation on my part. I'm not blaming the game for it. That's that's me, but still, I'm done. So I will see you guys in the next episode. And as always, keep playing the game and have fun.